hello everybody and welcome back to the channel in today's video i would like to show you my completed pages for may 2024 and i participated in mermaid so i did quite a lot of pages this month and um, we will start with wildflower folk by christine karen i did two pages in this book so first page i did was this one the little mermaid and um, this was inspired by a picture I saw on Pinterest of a mermaid. So I will put that picture on the left of the screen. Um, so I didn't want to do teal colors because that's something I gravitate towards quite a lot. So I tried to do um, another color combination, color palette. Um, for the background, I taped it with um, some sensitive tape for painting and the background is completely done with soft pastels. Um, the rest of the page is based with alcohol markers and I went on top of it with uh, coloring pencils and all the white you see is the Uniball Signo White. And I used um, a little bit of glitter um, right here the flower and I think that's it I think it was just on the flower yeah so this was a very uh, limited color palette for the pencils so I tried to use the browns for the hair in the tail and the green also in the shells in the eyes so everything was uh, coming together quite nicely Okay, so this was the first page I did, The Little Mermaid. And then um, I was rolling with it because these pages, they seem quite complex, but they don't take a lot of time, especially when you're basing with something. This took me like two coloring sessions. It went very, very quickly. Um, so I was rolling with it and I uh, started a second page. This is Queen of the Seven Seas. I was aiming for this uh, quite a lot of months, but I, I wasn't getting around to it. Uh, so again, I taped it with uh, a little bit of, um, I think it's called masking tape. Um, I'm not going to say which one because it isn't the best for coloring books because it's it's quite strong. So I'm, I'm trying another um, masking tape in the future. Um, and I just uh, knew I was going for a lot of blues and just some hints of um, pinks. I think I had the reference picture for this one as well. Um, it's going to be on the left on the screen if I still find it. Um, again, based everything with alcohol markers. I think it was just three colors, like a skin color. No, four colors. The skin, the hair, the pink and the gold. That's it. Um, I have to think. I think it was Prismacolor pencils for this one. I think Prismacolors work a little bit better on a heavy grayscale because they are a little bit more uh, opaque and it covers up quite nicely. But I prefer Polychromos if I have the chance to do skin. But for grayscale, Prismacolors work a little bit better. Um, and the background is just a little bit of soft pastels, just here and here. It's a little bit of a, a blue as well, but it is very, very soft. So I don't know if you can see it is like three colors, but it, it, I, I needed a subtle background. So and because of I taped it, it's a little bit more complete in my eyes. Um, the dots in the background is just some white gel pen and uh, I used a lot of Uniball Signo on everything and just here in the crown piece is a little bit of glitter gel pen. So, yeah. That's it. Oh no, and the hair is done with um, the Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer pencils because it was a lot of hair and um, if it is something very repetitive, I went on top of the alcohol markers with the Faber-Castell Albert Durus, but wet. 
and uh, the hair went very very quickly so yeah it was a, a nice way to do hair so yeah so this was my second page and it was in the book wildflower folk by christine karen then i did uh, two pages in portrait of the mermaid this was a new book to me by uh, sarah burrier and uh, this was to totally enabled by Elm Colors. Um, I think she almost completes this page. Oh yeah, every YouTube channel I mention will be in the description box if you are interested. Um, and uh, Elm Colors had um, a hashtag with four color palettes and I participated in three. So uh, this was our body color and we chose the dual tone um challenge um so everything is um no not everything the background is done with with um i think it was uh, soft gel crayons um then i based everything with alcohol markers i even did a little bit of blending in the hair and then um, I went on top of it with a little bit of coloring pencil. Um, I used a lot of uh, white Uniball Signo. Um, I used a gold metallic uh, gel pen for the mandala in the background. And these leaves are just uh, a little bit of uh, alcohol marker, so no shading. And uh, I used a little bit of glitter glue on the jewelry here so yeah this was very fun um, I will put uh, Elm Colors Erika's page here on the left so you can see both um, pictures together so this is Amazon paper I'm not a big fan of it but this book was on my wish list for over two and a half years and uh, I decided to buy it so yeah I will work around it. It's not a big area. I can use alcohol markers for basing, so it's going to be okay. Um, this is a, an exception. And then I did a second page. And this was also for her hashtag. And it uh, you had to do something with uh, rainbow, uh, the colors of the rainbow. So um, I first based everything with uh, chalk pastels. So everything except for the skin. And then um, I shaded a little bit with some polychromos pencils. Um, the skin was based with alcohol markers with pencils on top. Um, I used a gold metallic gel pen for the jewelry. And then the sparkle things is a little bit of glitter glue. And uh, yeah, a white gel pen for the bubbles. And I used a black uh, fine liner and I added in some black detailing for the mandala. So yeah, those are two pages I'm actually very proud of. And uh, yeah, so this was Portrait of the Mermaids by Sarah Burrier. Then I did uh, a page in a Mythic World by Kirby Rosens um, because this was a book I neglected a little bit because of the paper. And then I decided to uh, use alcohol markers in this book because otherwise I was not going to touch this book anymore. Um, so I based, um, I think everything I based with alcohol markers besides the water so the water is done with uh, Durant Inktense pencils I shaded a little bit um, of the hair with the Durant Inktense pencils as well the how is this called these uh, green leaves in the water are also shaded with Durant Inktense and the rest is shaded with polychromos I used a Uniball Signo White for all the highlights. And I think that's it. I don't think I used any glitter. No, that's it. 
so yeah as you see i used alcohol markers i'm not going to color every every um every picture in this book so i just use what i want and i get a great result with the coloring pages i actually like if it is a book i want to i like every picture and i'm not going to use my alcohol markers but for but for this uh, this book i really don't mind um this is also a page i really want to color this one this is the best page in the book and I think I'm going to base it with alcohol markers as well, because it's just this uh, one. So I'm not interested in this picture. And uh, on the other side is this one, and I'm not for horror gory things. So I'm not going to color this one as well. So yeah, maybe in the future I'm going to do this one. Okay, so this was my completed page in uh, Mythic World by Kirby Rosamas. Um, then I did a page in Betoverende Aarde by Melpomene Chatsi Panagiotou. This is the Dutch edition. I am from Belgium, so I, if I have the opportunity, I always buy the Dutch editions of a book because they are printed by Mus. And I swear to God, this paper, it can take everything. So if you have the opportunity, it's a little bit more expensive most of the time, but it's worth it. So the coloring page i did for mermaid was this one uh this was a color palette um so i if i found it i will put it on the left on the screen the background is done with derwent intense so the yellow and the blue in the background so i started with that um then i based everything with alcohol markers and I shade it on top with some polychromos and I use a glitter gel pen as well. Actually a little bit all over the page, not a lot, but just some hints and uh, a uniball signo white as well. So yeah, these pages are very detailed, but because it is very small, you don't have to do a lot of shading. So it's actually quite relaxing to do these pages. So yeah, I'm actually quite proud of this one. Okay, so this was a, a completed page by Melpomini Chatsi Panagiotto. Then I did, uh, not for Mermaid, but because I am working every month in Juwelekistje by Henna Carlson, is Jubilee Box in English. And um, I was, I did this one. So this page over here. Uh, this is a color long on my channel. So if, if you are interested in this one, um, there is a, a three part color long on my channel. So I just did one page this month. I was aiming for two, but because of Mermaid, I just want to do a lot of sea themed uh, things. Um, this was um, water-based markers for basing, polychromos on top, a black fine liner, soft pastels in the background, a little bit of acrylic paint for the border, a white uniball signo, um, some glitter glue for the accents and a little bit of metallic paint in the background for splattering because it was a lot of open space and I really didn't know what to do with the, with the background. So yeah, I splattered it a little bit as well. And it was very pale. I had a reference picture uh, for the colors. So I will put it on the right over here. And because it was too pale, I added the black border and it gives a lot um, more attention to the necklaces in the middle of the page. So yeah, uh, so next month I am definitely going to do this doc. Um, I have something in mind what I want to do, but I don't know how I'm going to accomplish it. Um, so it's going to be a win or a fail next month. And maybe if we're up to it, uh, we're maybe going to do this one and this one as well. So we will see. Um, yeah, 
depending on how much time I have. So this was a completed page in Juwelenkistje by Hannah Carlson. Then I did a coloring page in Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. And the page I did this month was this one for Mermaid. So this is actually the last Mermaid page in my Clara Markova book. All the rest is like sea themed but didn't have any mermaids on it. So this is my last one. Um, I used alcohol markers for basing even for the background. I used polychromos pencils on top. I used a white uniball signo quite a lot. I have, uh, by the way, a little um, a little uh, video on how I shaded these flowers with complementary colors, so you can watch those um, that as well. Um, I used. I don't think I used any glitter. No. No glitter on this one, just a lot of white gel pen. Uh, and shading with complementary colors. So every color I used everywhere on the page to make it a little bit more cohesive because it is very detailed, uh, Clara's pages. And I don't want to, to add a lot of colors to it. So it's a limited color palette, but I think it worked. So yeah. This was my completed page from Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. And then the next one is my monthly body color with uh, Christina's Art Corner. And we did uh, this page. So this was also for the hashtag from Elm Colors. And um, the third one was to do a monochromatic color palette. So we chose this page and I chose the color blue. Um, I will put Christina's page here on the left. She, she chose pink. So it's very great to see the same page with a different color scheme. Um, so this is all based with uh, alcohol markers. I used some polychromos pencils on top. I used um, some Uniball Signo White. And then the earrings and the border is done with a blue glitter glue. So I like the glitter glue for these borders. It gives a lot of glitter and it has a, a great coverage as well. And I actually like the texture because it is one sided. It doesn't matter if it is a little bit thicker. Uh, it doesn't bother me for coloring the, the other page. Okay, so that's it. And the next page we're going to do is this one. So this is the one for next month. Okay, so that was my page in Sweet and Simple, Whimsy Girls, um, Mermaids and More to Color, Pocket Size Coloring Book by Hannah Lynn. And then the last page I did was for a hashtag in this book also by Christina's Art Corner. And uh, it was this page. Um, I'm not happy with this one. Uh, it had a lot of struggles. Um, the background is done with soft gel crayons, I think. I tried to do a little bit of oil pastel uh, right over here, but the Amazon paper doesn't take it very well. Um, and it was, yeah, I, I put it a black border around it to cover up my mistakes because it wasn't very good. Um, all the rest was based with alcohol markers um, and uh, white, a white Uniball Signo. I used a, a black glaze pen, uh, a little bit of uh, glitter gel pen, like on the hair and the uh, seaweed. Um, so this was actually a little bit of a, a modern version of uh, the colors from Ariel, from The Little Mermaid. And um, like the yellow and the blue I added was because the fish that is always swimming next to her is blue and yellow. So that was um, my thinking of this color palette. So yeah, 
and Sebastian the crab is red so it fitted in perfectly for this one. Not happy with this one but hey it's done, it was fun. Uh, I tried to use some materials on the page but yeah Amazon paper doesn't take a lot of, uh, of media so too bad. Okay, so these were my completed coloring pages for this month. If you have a favorite, please let me know in the comments. I think my favorite of the month... I think my favorite is... I think it's this one. I like this one because it is something I normally don't do. Um... So this was uh, a great one and I think I like this page as well, this uh, mermaid page. I think it's because I normally go for very bold colors and this is like a very soft uh, color palette and I really like it. So yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the background but I think at the end, the more I look at it, the more it, it works. So I think these are my personal favorites. Okay, so um, I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.